Some stories start with a bang. This one starts with silence. A silence where the roar of six massive engines once filled the air. It's the story of a giant, a marvel of engineering that captured the world's imagination. The dream. For decades, she was proof that if you could dream it, you could build it, no matter how audacious. But dreams can be fragile. In early 2022, as war descended on her home, the grate was destroyed, not in flight, but in her hangar, caught in the crossfire. The images were gut-wrenching, a broken nose, scorched wings, a hollowed-out shell of the world's largest aircraft. It felt like more than the loss of a machine, it was the death of an icon, a symbol of hope and human ingenuity. The world mourned, this wasn't just Ukraine's plane, she belonged to everyone who dared to dream big. She had delivered aid to disaster zones, carried massive generators, and served the world in times of crisis. To see her destroyed was to see a piece of global spirit shattered. Yet this story doesn't end in a smoldering hangar. The spirit that built is stubborn, resilient, defiant, and unwilling to see an ending in a pile of wreckage. This is the story of how a dream was grounded, but also how it's learning to fly again. It's a testament to hope and the determination to rebuild, even when the world seems to fall apart. To understand thee, we go back to the 1980s, the height of the Cold War. The Soviet Union needed a way to transport its space shuttle, a logistical nightmare. The Antonov Design Bureau in Kiev was tasked with building an airplane big enough to carry the shuttle on its back. They started with the An-124, but stretched it, expanded the wings, and added two more engines six in total. What emerged was the AN-225, a colossus with twin tail fins, designed for a single audacious purpose. In 1988 she rolled out, a physical embodiment of a nation's cosmic ambitions. The performed perfectly, airlifting the for its only spaceflight. But history shifted, the Berlin Wall fell, the Soviet Union dissolved, and the program was scrapped. Suddenly the world's largest airplane was a relic, her engines removed, her future uncertain. The dream seemed over before it truly began. But the story was far from finished, sometimes the end of one era is just the beginning of another. These size defies belief. An 88.4 meter wingspan, taller than a six-story building, and a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons. Parked on a tarmac, she dwarfed even a Boeing 747. Her six engines generated over 51,000 pounds of thrust each. Her takeoff was a physical event. 32 wheels distributed her immense weight, ensuring she didn't crush runways. Inside, her cargo hold was cavernous, long enough to fit a Boeing 737 fuselage with room to spare. She was built to carry the impossible, 150-ton generators, turbines, even trains. Her nose cone hinged upward, allowing massive cargo to be loaded directly. She set over 240 world records, including for heaviest and longest cargo ever flown. But beyond numbers, the was mythical. A rock star of aviation. Crowds gathered wherever she landed, drawn by her spectacle. She represented the peak of human ambition, not just big, but awe-inspiringly big. The was proof that the impossible could be made real. After years in storage, the was reborn in the 2000s, not as a shuttle carrier, but as the world's ultimate cargo hauler. Antonov Airlines invested millions to modernize her, and in 2001, she returned to the skies. Her new role transformed her into a global symbol of hope and assistance. She delivered massive generators to Japan after the 2011 tsunami, and mobile hospitals to disaster zones. The could do in one flight what would take weeks by sea. Her missions became legendary, transporting 117-ton generators, 138-foot wind turbine blades, and more. She was the answer to impossible shipping challenges expensive, but priceless, when time was critical. Through this second life, the became a Ukrainian ambassador, her blue and yellow livery, a source of national pride. She proved that a tool of competition could be repurposed for peace and cooperation. She connected the world not just by moving cargo, but by inspiring a shared sense of purpose. There was no longer just a marvel of engineering, she was a gentle giant, bringing hope wherever she flew. Her legacy grew with every mission. The end came suddenly. On February 24, 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine and Antonov Airport, home of the, became a battleground. The giant was grounded for maintenance, unable to escape. As fighting erupted, her hangar became her tomb. Satellite images and on-the-ground footage confirmed the worst, the was destroyed. Her iconic nose was mangled, her cockpit and wings incinerated, the dream was dead. 
For Ukrainians it was a direct attack on national identity, a monument torn down. The world grieved and tributes poured in from every corner. Her loss left a void in global logistics. No other aircraft could match her capabilities. Controversy followed. Reports suggested she could have been saved, but evacuation orders never came. Investigations and allegations of negligence added to the pain. The destruction was not just a casualty of war, it was a preventable tragedy. This loss left a permanent scar on aviation history. In the face of loss, Ukraine made a promise will fly again. This was more than wishful thinking, it was a declaration of resilience. The project to build a new An-225 began, using the partially completed second airframe in Kyiv as a foundation. Engineers plan to salvage what they can from the wreckage and combine it with new components. The new won't be an exact replica, it will be upgraded with modern avionics, lighter materials and greener, more efficient engines. It's a rebirth, a 21 saint century titan built on a 20th century legacy. The price tag is steep, over 500 million euros, and funding is a challenge in wartime. The effort is global. Ukraine has pledged support and Antonov seeks international partners and public donations. Fundraising campaigns sell, themed merchandise, letting enthusiasts everywhere contribute. People aren't just buying souvenirs, they're buying a piece of the dream. The world is coming together to help lift the back into the sky. The project is a symbol of hope, unity, and determination. The dream is being rebuilt, one piece at a time. Rebuilding the is more than restoring an airplane. It's a symbol of Ukraine's resilience. Amidst war and destruction, the reconstruction is a statement. The nation is still creating, still looking to the future. Every bolt tightened is an act of hope, a victory against those who tried to erase an icon. The project has united people worldwide, engineers, governments and aviation fans. Online communities fundraise and share these story, keeping her legacy alive. The dream is now global, representing the universal drive to build and overcome adversity. The engineering and financial challenges are immense but the Antonov team is unwavering. For them, it's a sacred duty, a promise to their predecessors, their country, and the world. They work so a new generation can look up in awe. One day the hangar doors will open, and a new will roll onto the tarmac. Her engines will roar again, not as a memory, but as a victory of hope over despair. The flight of the new will show the world no matter how dark the night, the human spirit is unbreakable. Even the biggest dreams when shattered can be reborn and taught to fly once more.